Hello everyone and welcome back to Abroad for Love. If you are new to this channel, my name is Tania Rodriguez, I'm a Mexican and I live in Paris. If you're here for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button and of course hit the bell to be notified and don't miss out on any of my videos. Well, today I bring you a video that so many of you have asked me about, but especially Sweeta from India who contacted me for the first time via Instagram, so this one goes specially for you. In this video, I will talk about the Master in Fashion Design and Luxury Management, what it's really exactly about, who can do it, and what are the job opportunities or career that you can build after graduating. I will also talk about the pros and cons of doing this master and also explain what to expect when you do it at Grenoble Ecole de Management or GM as everybody knows it. All of this coming right up! What is the Master in Fashion Design and Luxury Management? This master is all about the business aspects of the fashion and luxury industry. How to communicate and manage a team within the industry. So it's basically how to engage within all aspects of the fashion and luxury industry. So this is a two-year program which you have the first year physically with courses at the school and the second year is more of an experience. So you have like your thesis or final project and also your internships. This two-year program at GM is recognized as a Master 2 or a Bac plus 5 here in France. So who can actually pursue this Master's? To enter this Master's, you only need to be an undergrad in any school and in any field, but of course with passing marks. You also need to present an English test. So for example, me, I did the TOEFL. And why is this? Because all courses are given in English. So this means that you don't need to present the GMAT as other business schools here in France do request it, such as HSC or ESSEC. So the good thing about this master's is that even though it is preferable that you come from a creative background because it will be easier for you to understand all of the fashion and luxury courses, I mean, if you come from any other background like business or management or even engineering, it is perfectly okay. Why is this? Because the program is structured to allow all international students with any background to study this master because at the end of the courses, every single one of them will have a perfect balance in the knowledge between the business aspects and the creative side of fashion and luxury. So this is achieved because the FDLM, so this is the way they call the Fashion Design and Luxury Management Master at GM, is composed by three main elements. So the first year is divided into two. The first six months, what we call the core courses, which are focused in strategic management, marketing, corporate finance, accounting, you have innovation and technology as well. While for the second semester, you will have more specific courses. These specific courses are focused in the creative side of fashion and luxury. So you will have courses such as fashion history, sustainability of fashion and luxury. You will have also legal and counterfeiting. You will also have design thinking and business related specifically to the industries. Experiences. This means that from the first year of your master program, you will have study trips, for example, to Milan or Paris. You will meet with companies. You will have live business cases. There are also a lot of companies that will be coming to the campus to give different conferences or propose different job opportunities, uh, develop workshops with the students. And so, for example, that's how I got the graduate program at Christian Dior, which was my first internship, the second year of my master's. And so this gets me to the second year of your master, which will continue to push your experiences where you will actually be able to put your knowledge into practice. So in order to be able to graduate, you will need to do an internship in any company in France. Additionally, this year, you will need to present your final project or your thesis as it is known in many other countries. So after doing this program, what are the job opportunities that you can expect having what is the professional career that you can build after graduating? The most common internship and the one you'll get easier is in the retail sector. So this means as a sales assistant in the store. 
So I know this is a delicate subject and I believe that even your parents are telling you that they will not invest all of this money for you to do a master program and end up working as a sales assistant in a store. However, retail is very important, either you want to accept it or not. It is the last direct touch point between the company and the client. So this means that no matter if in the headquarter, the marketing team is creating the best product, the best strategy, the best storytelling, if in the store, this message is not well communicated and implemented, then your product will not be sold. This is why especially the luxury brands are investing a lot in retail. And even though digital is taking more and more power in a brand, it will never replace the human engagement and the experience that luxury clients are demanding and can only be done in the store. So don't be close to do this type of jobs as your first job to build up your career in this industry. However, you may also find jobs and internships in PR, communications, supply chain, marketing, merchandising, management in big luxury groups. So for example, in my case, I built a strong career in the luxury industry after graduating from FDLM. Today, I've been working for almost two years in one of the maisons of LVMH as a jewelry product manager. Some of the other experiences that I had since graduation were, as I told you before, sales assistant in Christian Dior, business analyst in Louis Vuitton, and also business development in Etam. So as you can see, the range of job opportunities is very broad, but at the end, it will all depend on you and how hard you work to find these internships and these job opportunities. And I mean, if you want to know how to build a strong career in France, I'm leaving you also a good video I made about my experience and the suggestions and tips I can give you up here. Okay, so now I'll talk about what you can expect by doing this master's at GM or Grenoble Code de Management as I did. GM is ranked number six of the top business schools in France. It is ranked top 20 in Europe and top 50 worldwide. It has triple accreditations and it has two campuses, one in Grenoble and another one in the center of Paris, actually in the 14th district, and it's a new campus that was open this year. So now the pros and cons of specifically the master in fashion design and luxury management at Grenoble Ecole de Management. And I will classify them according to the main elements that we search when we are choosing a program abroad. I did my master's at the Grenoble campus and the student life was just amazing. It has 23 associations from finance, geopolitics, innovation and technology, entrepreneurship. It also has the fashion association, which is called Avantgarde. And of course, so many of sports like skiing, because of course we are just close to the Alps, but also, for example, the soccer association, which was one that I went to. And we even participated in the Coupe de France, which is a tournament with all of the business schools in France. And we actually got third place. So I'm sure you'll find your favorite association and your favorite activities to do if you go to this campus. There's always events and weekend getaways. There's always a lot of conferences and job fairs. And there's even an integration weekend where all of the students can go to a different city in France. And I mean, you get to know different students from all of the different programs. The application process. I mean, you are not required to do the GMAT in order to enter the school. So this means that the application process is way easier and it costs less than other schools of the same level that actually requested. The budget, so this is the value for money. And I mean, at GM, this program costs around 24,000 euro, whereas other universities will charge for the same program up to 30,000 euros or even more. Location, so as I said before, it has two campuses, one in Paris and the Grenoble campus, this city is way cheaper than Paris. And I mean, if you want to compare the budget that you need as a student in Grenoble and Paris, I suggest you to visit my video that I'm leaving up here. So in this video, I do a comparison of all the expenses and the budget that you need to consider to live in both of these cities as a student. Intercultural diversity. So this means that, for example, in my program, I had students from over 11 nationalities. So this really opens your eye to a globalized environment. Also, all of the students come from different backgrounds, so they are experts in different things. So this allows you to learn from each other. 
The program proposes a lot of teamwork, so you will learn to deal with different nationalities, with different point of views, and you will develop an intercultural management, which is key to be able to work in the fashion and luxury industry in a globalized world as it is today. One of the elements to score the reputation is the ranking. And even though we can say that GM is very well ranked, so it's in the top 10 here in France, it is also measured by the accreditation and certifications that the school, but also the program has. And even though Grenoble called the management as school is triple accredited, the FDLM master has no accreditation by the RNCP. So it means that without the certification, you cannot get the APS which allows you to stay one year or two years for Indian students after graduating to search for a job. And the moment you find a job, your visa immediately and almost automatically changes to a salary visa, so a working visa. So the ROI or the return of investment. And this means how much money you invested and when are you getting this money back with the salary you will get after graduating. I need to be very honest with you, but don't expect high salaries in the luxury and fashion industries. Why? Because I mean, everybody wants to enter these industries in Paris, so there is a lot of demand. And so, therefore, for example, if you want to have a return of investment in the fashion and luxury management at Grenoble, you will need to work at least two years in a full-time position. Whereas in other industries and other masters, such as, for example, an MBA, the return of investment will be done within the first year. So the career center. And even though the campus at Grenoble has this department, which is amazing to have because they will provide you feedback for your CV, for your motivational letter. They even do workshops to practice for interviews. But I mean, don't expect that they will find an internship or a job for you. And I mean, yes, they will provide you all the necessary tools and support to help you in this search. But I mean, at the end, Finding an internship or a job really depends on you. So would I recommend this program at GM? Well, I would definitely recommend the school because it has a very good prestige here in France. So I mean, I believe that this master provides me the necessary tools, the necessary relationships and networking, and of course the knowledge I needed to be able to build a successful career in the industry. And I mean, it's been six years I've been working in Paris in one of the best luxury groups in the world. Thank you so much for watching and please comment below if you have any questions or some subjects that I didn't touch in this video. I mean, I'll be happy to support you. And please don't hesitate to contact me directly if you need further support in this quest of entering the fashion and luxury industries and deciding whether or not the fashion design and luxury management at GM is for you. Please don't forget to give me some likes. See you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.